Garmin 400 245 VS 400 255 is the successor of the most popular mid-range Garmin watch worth a premium, or are you better off opting in for the lower price predecessor? We look at price, design, sensors and more to answer this question. Wearable Behemoth Garmin recently unveiled a brand new premium multi-sport watch, the Garmin 400 255, boasting a slim and lightweight design, always on, full-color display that's easy to read even in direct sunlight, and a bunch of wellness and smart features. But how does this compare to its predecessor, the Garmin 400 245, which was launched a few years ago? While both devices are still quite similar but there have been some rather significant upgrades added to the shiny 400 255 that isn't available in the 400 245, such as a multi-sport capability, launched on 1 June 2022. The Garmin 400 255 is available to buy now in two different sizes, the standard 46 model and a slightly smaller 42, both of which retail for $349.99 PS 299.99. The 400 255 also comes with the option to store music, which costs PS50 $50 more at $399 PS349. The Garmin 400 245 was released in 2019, so, as you'd expect, is much cheaper. The lowest priced option will set you back PS209.99 $299.99, as per the official Garmin website. That's a difference of PS90 compared to the most basic 400 255 model. Shop around, and you'll probably find it even cheaper. In true Garmin fashion, the new 400 255 doesn't look all that different to its predecessor despite being released three years apart. In fact, most people probably won't be able to tell the two apart, unless it's the 400 255 S that you're comparing, as this is quite a bit smaller and neater looking. Neither watch supports touchscreen functionality, and both sport five physical buttons three on the left and two on the right. Some might argue that the 400 255 should have been given a touchscreen upgrade like the Fenix 7 or 400 955 did, but in our experience, it isn't necessary. While both the 400 245 and 255 are focused on run tracking, giving you an overview of your outdoor pursuits isn't their only trick. Both watches will monitor just about every activity you'll ever need them to, from indoor and outdoor runs and cycles to swimming, tennis and yoga. On top of this, they'll provide you with dedicated tracking of your daily steps, heart rate, stress, and sleep, using the same Garmin Connect app to keep all your data viewable from one place. The 400 255 has been built to add some additional functionality to this list, however. The biggest is its ability to monitor multi-sport activity profiles and triflins a feature previously unavailable on the 400 245. Garmin has also added the up-ahead feature on the new and improved 400 255, a tool which was, until now, reserved for more expensive, premium-tier watches in the Garmin range. This allows you to see predefined markers such as climbs in a race while also offering race day-specific performance predictions. What really elevates the 400 255 over its predecessor in terms of features is the arrival of some new sensors. For one, you've got a new barometric altimeter and a gyroscope, which weren't present in the 400 245. While the former means the watch can now determine changes in elevation as well as pressure caused by weather patterns, the latter improves monitoring such as how swim performance or rep counting in the gym are measured. The heart rate sensor in the 400 255 has also been given an upgrade and is now a fourth generation elevate sensor, which Garmin says will deliver more accurate measurements and raw heart rate variability HRV data. As for GPS, Garmin stuck with the familiar GLONASS S and Galileo sensors, although they now offer multi-frequency reception in the 400 255, offering much better accuracy in more remote places, such as narrow valleys and covered trails. As far as the interface and user experience go, both watches offer pretty much the same experience. Although the 400 255 slightly bigger and better resolution display means everything will be a little easier on the eye. If you're considering a purchase of either two of these high-performing smartwatches, there are, of course, a few things to weigh up first but beware that this will mostly come down to whether you want to pay extra for new and improved features. Naturally, the 400 255 won most rounds in this head-to-head -head battle, mostly thanks to its better performing features and an updated design. However, if just want a great quality smartwatch that will stand the test of time while keeping costs down, we still can't recommend the 400 245 enough. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe this channel and leave your comment in the comment section below. What do you think about this particular model?